Hi, welcome to Headlines, a video series from the Korea Jong-un Daily where we look at the biggest headlines from around the world about Korean teams, Korean athletes and Korean coaches. I'm Jim Bully. This week we are talking about the top 10 biggest sports stories of 2018. Next week there'll be a story in the Korea Jong Un Daily that looks back at them all, but for today we're just going to look at the headlines, one from the Korea Jong Un Daily, one from an international media organization related to those events. Of course, number one, there's nowhere better to start, the PyeongChang Olympics. The Korea Jong Un Daily headline, the Olympics open with pride and theatrics. It's a very positive, upbeat message. We're seeing the same thing from around the world, the Olympics news agency says PyeongChang 2018 welcomes the world with a message of peace and hope. So this is, for a lot of the stories around the world, it is about the inter-Korean team um, and the fact that the two Koreas entered together and all that kind of thing, but very positive messages about the Olympics. Now, number two for us, but I think probably on a lot of countries' top 10 lists, Korea 2, Germany 0. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago, so just quickly from the Korea Jong-un Daily, we have Taeguk Warriors crush German hopes. Uh, and then here we have from Deadspin, a sports blog, South Korea's performance is why the World Cup exists. Of course, that's one of the biggest upsets of the year anywhere in the world, really. Now, number three, the unified Korean teams. Now, for us, most of our stories about unified teams were very big at the start of the year. You know, the ice hockey team was the first one in a very long time. So unified team loses with heads held high. That's sort of the biggest Korea Jong Un daily story on unified teams. Elsewhere in the world, they were kind of the unified team story was big all year, and the most popular stories were the Asian Games. This is the BBC, Unified Korea Boating Team Win Historic Gold. And this is all about how the Unified Korean 500 meters women dragon boating team has won a gold medal in the Asian Games, the first time the North and South have combined to win top prize at a multi sport competition. On to number four, Chung Hyun. Great year for Chung Hyun. We've got two Korea Jung Daily headlines. Chung Hyun makes history and Chung Hyun makes history again. Of course, the first one is talking about beating Novak Djokovic and the second one is talking about beating Tennis Sangren. These are both way back at the start of the year and here from ESPN, Novak Djokovic crashes out of Australian Open to Hyun Chung, should be Chung Hyun. But there you go, another huge sporting upset with a Korean athlete. On to number five. New contenders emerge at Olympics, says the Korea Jong-un Daily. Host country wins unlikely medals in several winter sports. Of course, we're talking about curling, we're talking about skeleton, we're talking about bobsled, we're talking about alpine snowboarding, all events where Korea won not only Korean firsts, but in many sports, Asian firsts. Now, of course, as far as the West of the world concerned, it was the curling that was interesting. Team Kim caught the world's attention. And here we have CNN, South Korea's garlic girls enjoy the sweet smell of Olympic success. On to number six. Now, number six is the only bad news in the story. Uh, and this in the uh, top 10, sorry. And this is Kim bo Rum and Park Ju and the controversy surrounding the women's speed skating team pursuit race. Korea Jong-un Daily, speed skaters turn on teammate after bad race, and The Guardian, Korean speed skaters who blamed teammate for defeat face calls for ban. Kim bo Rum and Park ji blamed No so Young for defeat, petition signed by 50,000 Koreans demands their ban. That was a surprisingly big story around the world. Now back to some positive news. Major League Baseball, a big year for Korean players. First of all, we had Chu Shin Su on his record-breaking run on base run. And then we have Yu Han Jin, the first Korean to open as a starter in the World Series. The Korea Jong-un Daily gives us two headlines. Move over Babe Ruth, Chu is making history. At 51 games on base, Rangers star has tied with the Bambino. The Bambino, of course, is Babe Ruth. And then we also have Ryu Hyun Jin makes the wrong kind of history. So we're talking about Ryu is the first to start in a World Series game, also the first Korean to lose as a starter in a World Series game. But for the rest of the world, Chu Shin Su was a much bigger story. And here we have ESPN, Shin Su Chu, again, wrong way around. On base streak ends at Rangers record 52 games. Okay, moving on to what is now number seven, I think. Park Hang So. We talked about this last week. Last week, the Korea Jong-un Daily says Park Hang So works his magic again. And here we have Fox Sports Asia Vietnam head coach Park Hang So named among Asians of the year. 
On to number nine. Number nine is the Asian Games. Now for us and for the rest of the world, the Asian Games was all about military exemptions. For us, the interesting story was contrasting the football team, largely celebrated, and the baseball team, not celebrated. Uh, and we have the story here, a tale of two ASEAD winning teams. One squad returned as heroes, the other came home to anger and disdain. For the rest of the world, there was only one interesting story that anyone cared about. Son Hung Min spared military service as South Korea take Asian Games gold. That's from The Guardian, but it echoes what pretty much everybody said. The story they cared about was Son Hung Min getting his military exemption. And finally, quite a local story, but the number 10 biggest story, SK Wyverns win fourth Korean series title. Now you would think that that doesn't make international news, but of course, SK Wyverns coach Trey Hillman won the championship, and that was big news. This is from The Ringer, which is a pretty big American sports blog. The world's most successful manager will coach first base for the Marlins. The Ringer is claiming that Trey Hillman, because he has won or won medals in both or won cups, both in South Korea and in Japan, is the most successful manager in the world, presumably meaning outside of America. So there you have it. That's the 10 biggest stories of 2018 from a Korean perspective and an internationalist perspective. Leave any comments down below and join us next year for some new headlines involving Korean athletes, Korean teams and Korean coaches around the world. Thank you.